they're obviously completely pink. Oh. It's not right. It is right. But I want to show you the Zara haul. <laughs> You can hear Amy crunching, it's because she's sitting there with my Oh, crisps. everyone needs to get a seasick Chardonnay and vinegar hair cooked crisps. Do you want to come in the here. shop? You look nice long hair. These crisps are the one. I realised I said, so if the quality's bad, we're on our phone this time because the camera's decided not to work again. Um, work last night. Mm. I just thought I would come on and do a little home haul and I could show Amy and as also, well. I've only got a new Zara perfume. I did get a new Zara perfume. I got this I told one. her after she took it home. By the way, Golden Decade. Mum uses that. Yeah. It's very expensive. Twenty two ninety nine. I mean, this is for my cheap every day. Because I was all I had left was Victor and Ralph from Prada. The Rada one I don't want to be wearing Rada. that to the gym. The Rada one is. My favourite. But I just said in, I said in the, either this video or the previous video that I tried the Killian ones. And? Really nice. Oh. I mean, they should be for 200 pounds. I'm just have a break because otherwise it is just going to be yeah, a crunch by crunch. But yeah, 220 pounds per perfume, so it should be good. Oh, f that is, it's not needed. It's not needed. It's no, needed. Come back. You need to be in the video. Oh my God, we want to eat those crisps. Okay, then we're going to start boring. <laughs> With tea, with tea towels. Mm -hmm. I, four tea towels, four pound fifty from Primark. I'm not really bothered by this, but I really like this. I like this one. More I wasn't any of this more than by the way. Yes, so this is for me too. Yeah, I don't like that one that much, but I did like this one. This one, that yeah, one's a bit classier. But we're bearing in mind going forward. When you buy tea towels, you need to actually going forward buy the ones that are not like that. The ones that are like no, the ones that are actually like a towel because they don't dry anything. Have you not noticed that with the ones downstairs? Yeah, but they look ugly. No, but you can buy fresh ones that don't look ugly. I'm going to. They um, have to be a towel. If anyone lives in Ken, dry anything. I think I'm going to Ashford Outlet tomorrow, and they have like home. They don't have really any. There's shops. loads of good home they have shops. There's loads there, of home actually. shops. We should have a mooch. I got this as well as is a kitchen roll holder, six nine ninety nine from Home nice. Sense. Does really... that say Thailand on it? No. Oh yeah, yeah, made in Thailand. Never been, but hey ho. Oh, and then I got this marble bowl. I do like that from That's Home nice. Sense. No, not Home Sense. H and M. This was I think like twenty seven. This is what you showed Evelyn on Facetime. Oh I got... my god! I wish we had. So I was just holding stuff up on a group FaceTime with us two, our mum awesome. and our other sister, and our niece Evelyn was on the um, FaceTime. And every time I held something up, she would go, wow! Now, either she has great enjoying. taste, or she just knew that we was enjoying her saying wow. Yeah, because we, we were laughing afterwards. Personally, I think she has great taste. But um, yeah, she did that say too. wow. But that yeah, this too. is, a, it's really heavy. It's real marble. I want to get a coffee table in this like beige marble. And I keep seeing them on like Facebook mm. Marketplace. This will be for like the kitchen. Like I'll put like my lemons in it. That's a it's lot not a very big fruit That's a lot bowl. Of space for lemons. I do have lemons every day though. Yeah, true. Um, and then this, fresh. I feel like everyone loves this stuff. So my property I'm buying is a period property. It's a cottage. I know this is like Italian, like Mediterranean vibes, but I also think it's kind of cottage vibes. Yeah, also we want those lemon. Um, and it's just like a dish. I will make like lasagna in, shepherd's pie. Yeah, dishwasher, freezer, microwave safe. It must be oven safe then. Um, and these, this was like twenty. This was like twenty two ninety nine. Oh yeah, it says so there twenty two ninety nine. And these on the actual Spode, um, I think that's how you say it. Uh, website are really expensive. You like? I do really like that. Yeah, yeah that's exactly. Mum's favourite thing you got too. Yeah. And also, do you remember when we got those bits in Italy? They look. Did we only get a couple of little bowls? I've got them downstairs. And Dad got us a. Was he in Italy when he got us that pasta bowl? Yeah, I've got two pasta bowls. And and they're then, actually from Italy, which is nice. Then from H&M again, I got this wooden chopping board. I like that. 49 dollars I think it's quite expensive. Oh, no, because it's just going to be like, oh, here's some bread. Oh, okay. Bread, anyone? Um, I just really liked it. And also, people just like have them stacked, don't they? Like, mum has some stacked in her yeah. kitchen, which I quite like. And then an essential purchase was these glasses. Just tumblers. I got two packs of these. Um, these are only £12 for four in John Lewis, which I think was really good. Um, they look thin. Yeah, we want a thin rim. Can you They're see? Thin. thin rim. Thin rim? Mm. They're just simple glasses. We will get more, obviously, exciting glasses as time goes on. But you've got to start your basics. Straws. Oh, yeah, I've also... I did a TikTok shop order. Mm. I've got glass straws. An ice cube tray. An ice cream tray? Ice cube tray. Utensils. Because there was a set of utensils for like ten pounds. I wouldn't have had a good can over We, that. I've not got one yet. We so measured them and they were the day. same size as. Sorry. They were the same size as my mum's utensils. So I'm hoping they're not shit. 
because I work in TikTok shop, but everything I've had from TikTok shop has been really good. TikTok, that's um, where you shop. Yeah. And then I also got like some really cute aesthetically pleasing like measuring cups for like baking and stuff. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, I have got a few other things. I've got this for the Mason hamper down here, which I've got stuff stored in. But this is just what I've bought in the last like week or so. Mm. So you can get it. Well, it's quite a lot. Yeah. What's that? Oh, this is, I already had this, but I'm, I need to remember to use it. Just from Primark. What little. do you use that for? You put um, like your cleansing pads in, you know, like reusable cleansing pads that we have. Oh, so it doesn't go Cotton with pads. stuff. Yeah. That's really good. Yeah, I know. What is it called? Wash bag set. Yeah from Walmart. Mm. But yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this little homeware haul. If you do like the homeware stuff, I can keep coming. Um, yeah, also, would you prefer Holly to do separate moving, like obviously homeware we can just show you, but in terms of actually like when life. you're in the house, moving, do you, like, do you know what I mean? Yeah, because obviously like... Would you prefer separate videos? Because I don't personally watch moving vlogs, I am not. don't need to. But I love but it. it's us together. So I can yeah edit it into one video so things i'm doing should i do it on a separate challenge ch challenge channel that does sound like a challenge it does really manage this one two options in the comments if you please would you rather if, just video? comment anything yeah that'd be great but particularly would you rather comes with a comment a video or videos where i'm doing things at home when she moves out she's doing things in her house and we put them together kind of like, or I, separate like what i'm doing Aisha what you're doing and Zellia, those twins yeah i, I to, never know how to pronounce their names no but they used to film together and now they film like they do film together but also separately on their own channels mm. like i don't really want to do the own channel things like i like being yeah. together but at the same time we both like to put very different content out there like i like really i like home and fashion content whereas you that's not really your bag is it you much prefer just like I mean, tell me like, not all vlogs would be moving they'd be like just like my life at home yeah it's gonna be hard then. it is gonna be harder though because we do only have one camera and currently that's broken as it is might end up being easier just using our phones yeah i mean just, this is our phone is it terrible quality i think it is because we're using the front camera everyone says you need to use the back camera but then how, how are you can that? you see what you're doing but everyone does say use the back camera if this is really bad, we're sorry. Yeah. What'd she say? Don't know. What? I need to do something about these on my phone. Anyway, yeah, that was a really long-winded way of saying, do you want home content on this channel? Please let us know in the comments. Let us know anything you'd like. Next week's vlog, I'm going to have a Primark haul for you. Because oh. I've been to Primark, it's down there. Oh, that's good. But I'll save it for the next one, be annoying. I oh, some, yeah. I've got some really good stuff in there. Oh, um, and I've done as well. also I've done a Zara order so I can show you Zara and Primark in next week's video. That's, oh, that's a good. that's a great one. You gotta tune in for that. Zara and Primark, bloody hell, spoiling you, aren't we? <laughs> okay, I've got an Amazon parcel to show you. Oh, hang on, my duvet is literally in the way. That's better. Can't remember what I ordered, but there's a few things in here. What did I get? Oh my gosh, I got candles. These are meant to be big sizes. Oh my gosh, the price I paid for these, now seeing how small they are, is actually ridiculous. I got calm sleep ones. I should have read it. It says three times 35 grams. First of all, I thought these were two candles, not three. And second of all, I didn't see that they were as small as what it says they are. That was so disappointing. I hate when that happens. I mean, I know it's my fault. Oh, it does smell good though. It smells really nice. I don't know why I'm doing that, as if you can smell it. <laughs> well, I've got three of those and they do smell nice. I just have to be aware that they're basically tea lights. I also got this. This is so boring, but I got this for the bathroom because I wanted the bathroom to smell nice. And this is Glade Aromatherapy Rediffuser. Again, Calm Mind. That's the that's the scent that I like. So it's bergamot. Bergamot or bergamot? Bergamot. Bergamot and lemongrass. Last up to 45 days. Oh my gosh, there's a little scratch and sniff thing on it. So you know what it smells like if you buy it in the shop. Oh, it smells nice, you know. This was about five pound, I think. Oh, that's it. There is another box down here from Amazon I've ordered, so I'm gonna get that. I'm just gonna use this scalpel. I remember when I did a River Island haul and I opened the box like this. And I just didn't get up to get the scissors then either. It's got a bit messy in the box and it's leaked, but you know, whatever. I'll have to wipe that up somehow. 
It smells so nice though. So this is Tresemme 24 volume silk protein co and collagen complex instant lift. I think it's basically this big. This was about four or five pound, I think, which is really good considering the size. Um, the reason I got that is because I've got a couple of shampoos that I want to use up, but I haven't got the matching ones left for the conditioner because as we all know as women, we use the conditioner way quicker than the shampoo, even though I always shampoo my hair twice and then do the conditioner. I don't know how that happens. So I've got about three or four bottles of shampoo left that I want to use up and I don't have the matching ones. I thought I'll get that because I love Tresemme. I know it's nice and hydrating and then I can use them all up and then hopefully it will be a square one because I really want to use the Colour Wow set that I've got. Um, I showed that to you in a previous vlog. Oh my God, the smell of the Tresemme is on my hand. It smells so nice. But yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing. And then I'll let you know how the Colour Wow one is because I'm really excited to use that. But I just want to use up my other ones first. I was drinking a kombucha. This one's passion fruit flavour. It is a little bit like um, passion fruit uh, pasta martini. But obviously it's kombucha, so it's really good for you. It's six calories. It's got like basically no sugar. Sparkling fermented tea drink with natural flavours, sweetener and cultures. Oh, and the sweetener in it is stevia as well. That's so good. It's not sucralose or whatever that one is that has aspartame in it. I still kind of prefer the other one I've had before, which is the um, strawberry and basil one. I don't think I've shown you that before because I just bought one individually and they don't seem to sell them in bulk at a good rate, a good price. All these ones I get are nice, but they're not the same. So I'm still trying to on, kind of on the hunt for like a favorite, but anyway. This is my go-to drink nowadays. I was, just, I was just eating this protein bar as well. This is the um, Shreddy range, you know, Grace Beverly's range. Um, peanut butter cup, plant-based protein bar. I really don't like it. What can I say? I really don't like it. I like peanut butter cups, the normal Reese's ones, and I like peanut butter chocolate-based things. This is really not good. My friend said it was good. I mean, I would say she's lying, but she obviously likes it. And yeah, I've eaten half of it. I don't even know when I'm going to eat the other half because I didn't like it at all. So if you're wondering, I personally wouldn't recommend anyone to get this, even if you really like peanut butter stuff, because it doesn't taste very peanut buttery. So that's my opinion on that. <laughs> I am, however, going to try this maybe after dinner, which is the Misfits range. Um, I have tried their chocolate wafers, the protein wafers, and they're really nice. I tried the caramel one and the original smooth chocolate one, and I prefer the smooth chocolate. This is s'mores. Um, 15 grams of protein, 3 grams of sugar, which is pretty good. Again, they're plant-based vegan ones. The only thing is with protein bars, right, is I'm, I buy them like thinking, oh, yeah, it's like having a healthy chocolate bar after dinner. But it's not, because there's often way more calories in this. Yeah, there's great protein content, but there's way more calories in something like this than, like, a Freddy Frog. Do you know what I mean? A Freddy Frog is, like, 100 calories. I mean, yeah, it's small, but it's not the same. It's just not, is it? I'm just going to put the re-diffuser in our bathroom. We did have some nice candles in here, but... Because of all the baths we have, they just run out so quickly. You could get a box of three of these, but obviously I didn't know if it was going to smell any good, so I didn't want to do that. But now I kind of wish I had it because it was a good deal. It's also quite a nice bottle. Or is that not a nice bottle? I just, I like that there's no packaging on it. Like, it could be from anywhere, but it's Glade. And I thought Glade was a quite heavily logoed or heavily, um, you know what I mean, heavily labelled. Oh, that does smell nice, you know. So these are the sticks, I guess, the reed sticks, the little wooden sticks that look like chopsticks. Can I just slide that off? Oh yeah, I can. Oh God, I'm scared I'm going to get a splinter. Okay. So then they just go in here, I think. Yeah. Little addition to the bathroom. I was thinking these little candles would actually probably go quite nice on this tray in the bathroom because they're obviously completely plain. Oh, did that really just happen? For goodness sake. That's not really nice. So I'm going to put them on here. I think they look nice. A little set of three. At the moment, we've got like some white company bits. We've got, what's this? Conditioner, body lotion, and shampoo. And then I'm going to put the rediffuser behind. And then I'm going to have the candles in a little display of three. But it looks like this. And obviously, we've got the little mirror behind. It's cute, right? Do you know what I just realised? It's literally one of the last few clips. I was saying how I don't really care about homeware. And for some reason, I've now just become like a homeware queen. What's going on? How good does it look my hashtag? Holly's supposed to get ready to play house. 
Yeah. Holly's house. <laughs> Holly's house. But my Who house. Who said on the channel you wore a house? I don't even know if you actually said on the channel that you wore a house. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because I just did a home haul. That standing cup looks literally like the side of your head. This is £2.50. I know, I took that shot. Anyway, I haven't got chicken of mine because. Amy didn't have any chicken. Yeah, I also I had wasn't some nuggets earlier. I put onion chutney on garlic bread. bread. I'm not hosting yet. <laughs> and we've got balsamic. Which I think is the key. Do you know what's the best garlic bread is? I want it, Eminem. Mm -hmm. Pasta's getting a bit cold. Huh? Pasta's getting cold. Eat up. Oh. Eat up. Hi guys, I'm in my dressing gown now, so don't mind me, but um, I'm gonna have a little dessert. I went to m &S quite a while ago, actually, and oh no, there's a couple of ones with mold on them. Right, I got these from m &S. They are white pearl strawberries. I've seen them before and always wanted to try them, and they were like 350, but I thought, I'm gonna splurge. Some of them have actually got mold in them now, because it was, when did they go off? They're from Spain. They went off on the 21st. Today's 25th. But they look like this. How weird. So they're like normal strawberries, but they it says pink blush strawberries with a pineapple aroma and hint of vanilla. So we're going to see if they actually taste different. I haven't actually washed them. Should I be washing them? I'm going to give it a rinse. Mmm. One, two, three, four, five. Wait, hang on. 10 strawberries for £3.50. That is daylight robbery, Marks and Spencer. Mum, do you want to try a white strawberry? I've just tried one, they're really nice. So, wait, before they you try. They look really weird, though. I know, they look so weird. So, I've just tried one. Oh, there was no. 10 in a pack, but two of them have gone off a bit. So these are the ones what that are not gone off. Trying? Whatever one you want, that's a good one, fuck's sake. <laughs> Do they taste different to normal strawberries? Do you think? Mm. A bit? Not a sweet. No. It's, it's not right, is it? It's not right. It is right. No. Yes. God, I wasted that on you. Don't taste Do you know how much this box of 10 strawberries was? They taste of nothing. They don't taste of nothing. There's something wrong with your taste buds, Mum. Look, Janine, I look ill. <laughs> Need a tablet or a sunbed. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to know is if these are genetically modified strawberries or if they're just grown like this and they're rare, so they're more expensive. Okay, you have to excuse the saving me, but I want to show you the Zara hole. So, I only got a few bits, so don't get too excited, but I think they're good ones. So I've got this cardigan, I've got you too high up now, um, which is only 35 99 in a small, and it's got like these lovely like Celine, I think, inspired buttons. It doesn't feel like Celine, I'm not going to lie to you, it does feel very much like Zara, but I really like it. I just try it on, and then want to keep it. So that's a winner, lovely beige little cardigan, I really love, I really love cardigans, always love cardigans, and yeah. That's like a nice smart one. Now, this second dress I got because it was giving me complete like, oh, Sophia Ritchie summer vibes. However, it looked like it would fit a bit snug on the website. So I sized up to a small and I'm normally an extra small. That was a mistake because it's really actually, I don't know why I thought, oh, well, if, it sh <laughs> if it's coming up really short on the models on Zara, it's going to come up short on me when I'm about a foot tall, shorter than them. So, yeah, it's quite, an, it's an awkward length and also it's just big round the waist, like it's meant to be like cinching, I think, and flowy. Let me show you, let me move you further down. Mm. Is this better? It would be a bloody bag, wasn't there? Let me just move. You can kind of see, it's just like there's a lot of baggy material. I also feel like when anything's like buttoned up, I get really like paranoid about like it pulling and you get in like that look, which I hate, especially on my chest and my ribs. Um, but actually I think it needs to be a bit shorter and come in more, but then you still get that pull and like be more like that and fitted. Um, this was, the cardigan was, how much was the cardigan? The cardigan was 35.99 and this was 
35.99 as well actually um i really love the idea of this but the execution is great also the fabric does feel a bit cheap so this is going to go back to zara Sorry, I just went and sent some vintage parcels. Um, I don't know if I've mentioned on here, but I'm sending so much stuff on vintage. Um, I will ask, I will try and remind Amy to link my vintage in the description box below because I've got loads on there um, that I'm selling, which is great. Um, get a bit of extra cash for Zara, although this is going back. Also got something from Zara Home. I'm aware that I've already done a home haul. It might be within this video or it might be the last video. But I have bought a lot more home stuff. So please genuinely do comment if you want to see home stuff that I'm buying because we can include that. But I'm just going to go get you the Zara home thing. One thing I will say for my new house is that a lot of my purchases currently are like silly little home purchases in that they're all not exactly essential um, items. I mean, I think they are. But yeah, no, I've not bought, I've got, not, not got like big things to show you, like furniture or a bed because like I'm just going to get that delivered to my house so I can show you if you want when I get in there. Like currently I don't have a bed but I do have what I'm about to show you which is I think it's meant to be like a stand for a cookbook in the kitchen. That's how someone I know is using it. I say no and then follow. Oh, this feels like it could be broken. No, so you like put it no so so that it goes on the side like that and then you put your book in it your cookbook let's just try with my gratitude book ah ready it's so like that in the kitchen how cute i'm just gonna be there like well, that's not the best book but you get the vibe how cute i don't want lots of clutter on my side but i do want this it was 10.99 i think was it 10.99 i think so arguably not essential arguably could be i need to need to keep my books open somehow i'm really happy for that that's staying my boyfriend can jog on if he thinks otherwise um because i really like it so yeah keep that they have sent me lots of boxes i don't know about you but if you've gone other days where you could just do a Zara return in the post. Now we have to bloody go to the store and return it. Otherwise we get charged, don't we? I hate that. So I'll probably go Zara on Thursday this week. It's coming my new shopping night Thursday because my boyfriend, he um, he, tra he goes to like training late or Thursday after work. So while he's out training, I'm like, I might as well go shopping. I need to get this dress off because I'm not keeping it. So I'll probably go to Zara Thursday. And if I do, I will try and vlog. Maybe. Did I show you my Primark haul as well? I don't know if I did show you my Primark haul. Um, I've also got a bit of a Primark haul. <laughs> Take a shot every time I say Primark haul. But I'm going to save it for when I don't look like this because I'm staring at myself and I'm hating myself and it's not nice. So that's my Zara order. It's short but sweet. I'm going to try these crisps. Hummus chips. It's my turn back in. Look at this. Oh no. They don't taste good. It has like pasta, tomato pasta, but if it, if it was really stale and gone hard, I'll just snack on some of them while I cook. one I was looking for is not in the drawer so I don't know where it is so we're just gonna go with this. I bet when I watch this back I'm gonna think wow I really don't look like I know what I'm doing and that's because I don't. I just as long as it cuts the vegetable up successfully I think, yeah, that's a good job right there. And just whack it in the pan. It's all good. I've got 
13 garlic cloves here and I'm going to put them all in this pasta dish. It is going to be, yeah, I know, it is going to be two meals, maybe even three meals, but garlic is so good for you and I love the flavour, so more the merrier.